Good morning everyone. Today I'll be teaching you how to set up your router. I found out a few videos out there and I think they're missing a few things. Some of them get a little lost, so here it is. It's simple. We have a picture of the modem and then you purchase your router. Some routers might have the antennas, some don't. New models don't have the antennas. Since antennas break easily and I have broken many of them from my past routers that look like this in the picture. So what you have to take, what you have to do is take your ethernet cable from your modem and connect it into the router. Right now, if you have no router, that cable is connected into your PC. You have to unplug it and plug it in into the router. Okay. Then router will, uh, your router box will provide you with another cable. You take that cable and you could plug it in, in into any port in your router and then you have to connect it into your ethernet cord, in ethernet input in your computer or Macintosh. Okay, then you turn on your modem, wait about 30 seconds, <coughs> here's the power, power where, where you connect your power, then you connect, after 30 seconds you connect your router, you connect it through, your power, through the router power supply, you wait for about 30 seconds a minute, okay, after that you should be able to be going on the internet already, you should be able to log in into your Facebook, MySpace, whatever, or go into a website. But now we have to set up our router, <coughs> password and wireless protection. A lot of people have problems doing that. A lot of people don't know what to do. And, you know, the router company doesn't really tell you that it's very important to protect your router login information because, you know, everyone could log in into your router unless you change the password. So what we're going to do here first is log in into our router. Some people don't even know how to do it. What you have to do is go into your startup, type in CMD, and press enter. And when you're there, you type in IP config. All you have to find is your default gateway, which is for me is 192.168.1.1. For most of the for most of the routers, it will be the same, like Linksys. I haven't seen anything else for Linksys. Then you open up your browser and you type in type in one nine two one six eight one one and then you press enter. <coughs> and here comes the error for your password. Default password for many routers is admin. Okay, let's say Linksys it always uses admin. Username is blank, password is admin. Here you enter into your router. Here's the important thing. You have to change your password. If you do not change your password, somebody else will log in into your router and change your things around. And they could actually sniff your packets and, you know, find out your, you know, shared information on your router and be able to enter your computer and go through files. So you must change your password. After you change your password, you click Save Settings. My password has been changed, but you have to do that. After you save your settings, you have to go into your wireless setup and do wireless network mode mixed. Then you type in a wireless network name. Come up with any name, minus hackers. I just do it so people don't, don't try to connect to my network. Uh, wireless channel choose any um, and then you have to uh, broadcast wireless SID broadcast that, that way you could find your own ID and then you save you press save settings <coughs> after after you save your settings you go back to wireless security and this is where you get your v VPE key I choose 128 bit encryption and what you have to do is type in passphrase and Dima is my brother's name so I typed it in I press generate and it generates your key this is the key you use to connect to your router means if you have a wireless laptop uh, anything that's wireless laptop uh, PS3 Xbox they will need to have that key what do you have what do you do is you t you write down that key on your paper or save it in your computer and next time you try to connect one of your devices to your Lap to, uh, to your to your router virus router you have to type in that and click connect so okay so I generated this 
from my brother's name and it will save settings after you save settings you will be able to have a protected wireless network you will be able to log in and nobody will be able to log in into your router and change your information remember if you do not change your password for the router people will know it okay so now in case you forgot your password you s let's say you you know set up your router sometime long ago and admin does not work all you have to do is go into Google and type in router default passwords and the first website will give you a list of every default password for every router there is and it shows last update was 0104-2010 so you know this is update so let's say we t we press control F and we type in Linksys give me a second my computer's free so you type in control F and you type in Linksys or name of your router and you click, click next your computer will search for all the files and find your generic password for your router yeah my computer's freezing up anyways and in case you completely don't know how to get your password there's a little button called reset button on your router all you have to do is press that button and it will reset all your settings for your router it means you will have to log in into your router with the with admin pa with the same password that was original with the default password which is admin for Linksys and if you want to find one all you have to do is type in uh, router default passwords and it will show up every password there is for any router let's say you see I have Linksys um, and most of them is here links is router WRT 54G that's what I have admin admin <coughs> okay I'm gonna close that out because my computer is deciding not to work when I'm doing a video okay so that's it don't forget, all you have to do is reset, press reset and everything will reset.